Well, I thought I'm just going to make a big pot now with my last piece of clay. If it looked like a, I think it looked like a serial killer. I've got some new specs because I can't throw any more close up without uh, specs on. I can throw, but once I look away, I'm, my eyes are all blurred, so I've had to get some. I've had to uh, finally admit that my eyes are going a bit close up and get some glasses. This is about a seven pound ball of clay. I'll try and make quite a round, sort of wide one, I think. Let's get it centred up. Leaving about probably about a third to half an inch of thickness at the bottom. top in so it doesn't go out of uh, control. Squeeze it in a bit at the bottom. Right again as usual first lift is going to be a knuckle lift which is using that knuckle on the outside and just pulling up from the inside. Probably go a bit off centre, but I can sort it out later on. Right, I'll try and sort of lift it open up a bit from the bottom outwards. I want the top to be a bit narrower. So what I'll do, I'll just try and close the neck in a touch now. I actually let it get away from me, this the top. But we'll see how we get on. out from the inside. Really it's all about how far you want to you dare push it without it getting too thin. Collapsing on you.
try and do something with this neck now. Claire's probably gone too soft. We will see. I think that's about it. If I do any more messing it out, it's just going to collapse. Quite a bit of width to that, I think, and it's reasonably narrow at the bottom. So that's about it, I think. Quite a wide vase. I think that'll do. So that's it, that's a, a wide vase with a sort of narrow base, a squat vase. <laughs> 